Hi guys, it's Raven Scry. Today I'm going to connect in with Spirit and ask if there's anything to be shared in connection to the crypto space. Anything that they feel is important to bring through. So as I connect now, uh, connect to Spirit and open uh, to what they have to share today, uh, I'm being shown people on what looks to be like uh, cash registers. Uh, they're entering figures and numbers, and there is more than one of them. It, it, it almost looks like they're kind of in a room um, on these cash registers, these people entering numbers into these, into these machines. And I ask what the purpose of being shown this scene is, and they impress upon me this feeling of the past, of, of systems, uh, of many workers all together, uh, but old systems and old financial systems. And they talk about the rise of the new economy, I'm hearing. And I also hear, strangely, out of nowhere, radium. Uh, this is a chemical, but it's also to do with a crypto as well. But I'm just going to leave that to the side. Now, they show me building blocks into new systems. And they talk about tough breakdowns of, of old systems. Now they're directing my attention to somewhere in Asia uh, and as I connect more deeply I'm, I'm hearing Beijing and I also sense a connection to America somewhere and here connection to global climate. Uh, so as I connect back, uh, back to Beijing uh, and moving in a little bit deeper um, they keep pushing me back uh, to somewhere in America, and I'm hearing San Francisco. Uh, but so they push me back. It's like I keep moving over to uh, a Asia, to Beijing, and then they push me back to America. So there's some correlation here, and it feels, you know, like somehow it's connected. So now, as I connect back to Beijing. And I'm being shown like a canoe or like a small boat uh, traveling down a waterway. And it feels connected in some way uh, to a place where there is markets because I look around, there's a lot of people, um, but a marketplace where you can travel through the water, um, through the market. Now, it's quite a busy place too. And my attention is being brought... Uh, to a woman now, and she's an older woman. And she talks about much change that is coming uh, to monetary systems and money, but she refers more so to her family and to her son and caring for her family and the future generations. Uh, it feels like she, you know, she works hard, this woman. Now she's taking me back to the scene with all the cash registers and all these cashiers in this room but now as I connect to it more it's like it blends uh, into these other machines it's like um, production line there's there's production of clothing taking place but it's a very large factory with many people all working uh, in this factory setting now I feel as though she's showing me this uh, and she's telling me this is this is how it's been for me, you know, and it's been hard. Uh, and she gestures now into the future. It's like she points um, over there into the future, and I find it kind of difficult to understand what she's referring to. Um, but she's talking about m much more change to come uh, for future generations. And I ask... I ask, well, how does this connect uh, to crypto? Help me to understand a little bit more. And she says, crypto is future for many, but you must understand that some will find this transition difficult to adjust to, this transition into the new way, into the new structures. And she says, regulation will be rife, particularly here in China, for families from the way that it's been in the past and still largely is. And she shares this energy as she speaks with me and it really brings me into the individual experience 
of, you know, having a life, having a family, caring for your family, working hard and really bringing that humanity of everything in and that connection to that working grind that she's, you know, had to endure and put in all for the sake of, of, you know, looking after the people that she loves. So I thank her for all she shared and now I'm being taken, uh, I feel like, back to America and I'm hearing World Trade Center um, and it is bringing into my mind uh, the time of the Twin Towers and 9-11. Now this could be uh, speaking quite literal in regards to timelines or uh, more metaphorically, um, but I'm hearing stock exchange and collapse of stock exchange. Uh, a downward spiral is what's coming through. And now I'm being shown uh, another scene. It's like a barren scene, uh, empty feeling in the air. And I'm standing in a city and it's like it's dusk and there's a dusty smell in the air and I'm just feeling this this sort of sense of change but it's like there's not really people around it feels like it's a new start a rebuilding uh, is about to take place here but this city feels like it has an eerie emptiness and like something's taken place here something's gone down and now they're referencing a movie um, and the movie is set in a small town in America and as I recall, um, it's like the feeling that it's giving me is this feeling of being stuck in the confines of a country town and never knowing anything other than that town. And, and it gives me a sense of like a childlike dreaming to move out of a hometown, to, to move out into the big world, the big wide world. Um, but there's a sense of it being scary and the change of the unknown because you know it's we've never experienced it you know stepping into this new experience so I feel as though within them showing me this storyline and what was brought about in this movie uh, it's kind of reflecting this change that they talk about that's in some way connected to this the eerie feeling in the last scene uh, in the city where there's not many people around. Now they also show me uh, there's a new energy coming into this empty space, into this empty uh, setting of the city that I'm seeing. And on some level now, it's making me f reminded of lockdowns in cities and how it feels um, when there's not many people around and everyone's in lockdown. But that's kind of the sense that it's giving me. And, and in this scene, I'm starting to see all of these new rays of energy that are integrating during this time and new important energies into the city is, is kind of how uh, it's being shown to me. So new, very important energies are integrating during this time, uh, this time of change and in some way a new beginning and therefore a timely ending. Okay, I'm feeling as though this is uh, all the information that wants to be shown, that wants to come through. I'm going to thank Spirit uh, and everyone that's contributed today to this meeting. So I hope you found some value in today's sharing. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos, please give a like and subscribe uh, and share them who, with whoever you feel would resonate. It would be really appreciated. Okay, guys, uh, take care until next time. Ravenscry signing off.